okay guys my today recording is related to the d link dgs 3630 3130 and 1510 gigabit switches uh, i already attached the data sheet link you can i will put in the description you can just uh, download it review it and check what is the difference uh, layer 3 dgs 3630 is a layer 3 core and switch and 3130 support light a th layer 3 stackable manage switch options and features and 1510 is a gigabit stackable smart switch so my console cable is connected to the console port of dgs dgs 3630 switch and uh, the configuration is same for all three models so i will follow the configuration on 3630 and if you are using in the future 3630 or 3130 or 1510 you can follow the same steps so what i will do i will uh, uh, i will configure the login methods using the console port uh, telnet session ssh session and then uh, i will just uh, make more videos on vlans inter vlan routing and stacking and all other features <coughs> so my current video sorry my current video is related to the basic configuration and the initialization method for the gigabit switches uh, for these three models so to access uh, the switch using the console port you have to connect the console cable the db9 interface using a usb converter so serial i will just uh, i'm using this moba xtrem terminal emulator uh, i will just click on serial uh, I'm using COM1 and uh, I will set the baud rate to 11.5200 and click on OK. So if you press enter, as you can see, uh, it is a DGS 3628TC gigabit Ethernet switch. OK, enable, Sh uh, show IP interface, brief. OK, as you can see the VLAN 1. Uh, it is down because uh, I didn't connect my cable to the v VLAN 1 ports. Uh, all the ports on the switch from port 1 till port number 24, they are member, up to 28, sorry, they are the member of VLAN 1. So uh, I'm connected to the management interface, which is not routable, which is for local management of the switch. And also uh, I'm connected to the the console port this is the console access to access the switch using the management interface you have to configure your pc in the same subnet so and cpa.cpl as you can see ev uh, not ev my physical port ethernet tcp ipv4 and as you can see it is in the same uh, range actually 01 sorry uh, I will just uh, I will just here I'll just say status details as you can see 0 0.100 and 0 01 I am in the same subnet okay so you have to assign the same subnet IP address let's verify the connectivity using command prompt 192.168.0.1 minus t as you can see I can ping the management interface of the switch uh, let's proceed to the configuration using the GUI interface so 192.168.0.1 and the default username and password is admin and admin okay okay I will change password later on so uh, what I will do I will configure uh, I will show you this uh, basic review of the switch if you want to change the system interface system name location contact and if you want to change the management interface ip you can just uh, change the ip address here okay and if you you can assign the gateway and just click on the apply option so the management ip uh, address will be changed okay and either if you want to do it via the uh, console interface or cli so config t interface mg as you can see MGMT and uh, the management interface is zero and then you can apply the same like IP address and X, uh, dot 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 whatever is the IP address and no shut and that's it like for example I will change the IP address to 192.168.0.5 and 255 255 255.0 no shut exit 
and I will show you here show IP interface brief as you can see the IP address from 0 it is set to 5 and if I refresh my browser okay sorry I'm connected to one I will just access the switch because I even I will lose the connectivity because I changed the IP address so you can see I will just change it to 5 minus 3 you can see the 5 is reachable now so now if you want to access the switch you have to click on 5 you have to access the switch using dot 5 IP address okay guys now system and uh, system information you can see the IP is set to 5 I will just make it default as 1 and apply okay now see uh, I lost the connectivity again 5 is not reachable and if you see dot 1 I am reachable via dot 1 okay and this is the management interface access method uh, for uh, all these three models let me switch my cable from management interface to the uh, other port of the switch now if I show you on the console before it VLAN 1 was down show IP interface brief okay so because I changed my cable from management interface to the VLAN 1 and if I show you show VLAN uh, as you can see from port 1 till port number 28 they are the member of the default VLAN 1 so how you are going to access the switch now you cannot access the switch because uh, uh, it is not reachable because I am not connected to the management interface I will change my IP address to uh, what I will do I will add the uh, another subnet for my uh, VLAN 1 interface as you can see it is 10.90.90 so I will add 10.90.90 uh, what I will say I will say 100 ok 255 255.255.0 add okay 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 now let's verify it so 1090.90.100 my local machine IP is 100 and the default VLAN 1 IP is on all dealing switches is 109090 I can reach the switch now I will access the switch using 10.90.90.90 as you can see now I am accessing the switch using 10.90.90.90 ok admin and admin ok so before I was connected to management interface now I am connected to the ethernet interface port 1 and uh, I am accessing the switch using the VLAN 1 subnet okay guys so if you want to change the system information name and IP address it's uh, clear to you right now what I will do I will uh, configure the login methods for the management of the switches what you can do you can just enable the password encryption you can just say enable and apply the encryption is enabled SHA-1 and uh, login method for the enable mode you have to set the password so I will set the password as admin apply as you can see that uh, the console method is set to no login so I will just change it to the login login and apply okay now we have to set the password you can use any encryption but I'm using plain text text sorry admin I set the password for the console so let's verify the console uh, what I will do I will just as you can see now it's prompting me for the password so password is admin for enable I set the password admin so as you can see uh, the console port password is uh, successfully applied now I am going to configure the second most used method mostly people they are using telnet okay so what I will do as you can see the login method is set to login already you have to choose telnet and you have to set the password admin apply successful 
so let's verify the telnet connectivity i will create a new session i will enable telnet the ip address is 10.90.90 .90. the default username is admin okay as you can see now i'm connected uh, via telnet protocol admin enable admin show ip interface brief okay uh, i will close this uh, uh, i will not close this now console password is set telnet password is set now let's enable the ssh connectivity so uh, as you know that uh, to s enable the ssh connectivity you have to generate the crypto key and all these kind of things so we will do all the steps one by one so ssh uh, i will set the first ssh password i will set the password to admin admin apply it is successfully applied encryption i already enabled okay and uh, user account setting uh, you can set any user like uh, uh, i will set uh, uh, username shabir i will give him the privileges level 15 password type i will just set to sha1 and password i will assign the password okay uh, sorry okay admin uh, privileges 15 and 15 I just created a simple user okay uh, and then let's go to security and uh, under the security you will find the SSH settings so SSH global settings first you have to enable the IP SSH server state I will just enable and uh, port number you can also change and version 2 mode is supported so i will set apply okay host key the crypto key rsa i will just say generate okay successfully generated the host key ssh server connection there is no connection ssh user setting so i will just set a username like for example i will set root uh, okay password and uh, authentication method password okay and uh, apply uh, sorry i uh, will just say sh and the last one i created should be okay uh, sorry authentication method password okay 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 user settings uh, yes sorry management uh, hold on okay guys it, it it was giving me error because uh, the user uh, is not created i have to create the user uh, user account settings as you can see admin i will just create a user shabir i will give password 15 and i will just assign admin and click on apply successfully the user is created and uh, as you can see the user is listed now here shabir okay so password let's verify the ssh connectivity by using terminal session ssh the remote host is 10.90.90.90 specify username i will just say shabir 422 you can see it's prompting me for the password so password is admin enable enable password and show vlan okay guys it was accessing configuration method is using the ssh mode uh, thank you for the watching